So one of the best forms of outreach that I personally think, and there's quite a few other people who agree with me, that Loom is one of the best forms of outreach you can make because it's also has like it has the highest reply and meeting ratio ever than any other form of outreach that i've personally ever made so how can you also take advantage of such a great and free tool and how you can actually go ahead and actually structure the perfect loop right that's what we'll be talking about in today's video so go ahead and click that icon right there subscribe to this channel just flip your phone vertically and turn that red icon gray softly don't no need to smash it you've smashed it enough time on dozens of youtube channels right so let's jump into this video so why and when like why should you use loom and when should you use loom right that's what we'll be talking about right now so the great thing about loom is that when the prospect clicks your link and sees the video they will be seeing their website this makes them not only realize that it, that it has been personalized to them but makes them wonder what about their website will you be talking about right though this may be a powerful tool all tools have a time and place i have created and tested a formula or requirement for the loom strategy which is it should be on the third or fourth email in your outreach sequence and if you want to know more about that i have a video i made just for you that you can get it in the descriptions but in the description below which is basically uh my email outreach sequence and how you can take advantage of that use my email outreach sequence or just make your own unique email outreach sequence and i can gladly tell you right now that if you were to make your own bespoke email outreach sequence then it is way more likely to increase your meeting ratio and reply rate way more especially when it comes to your meeting because in the meeting if if the words you use in your email aren't linked to the words you use in your meetings um, in your meeting right then the client is more likely to say no to you because they're they feel like you're contradicting yourself right like the you on the email is totally different from the you in the meeting right so that's why i advise you to change and customize the email like even if you're just customizing three or five words as long as you customize it and change words that you don't resonate with to words that you feel are more likely to your style, right? And the next thing is they should have opened one of your previous emails at least four times as that way they are showing you their interest, right? See, you, like, <laughs> Loom may be a powerful tool, right? But you can't use it as the first email you send to a prospect or a lead because it takes about 10 to 20 minutes to record and edit one single loom video that excludes the fact that you might say the wrong thing and have to repeat the entire video again right that means add an extra 20 minutes on top of that so imagine doing that for 60 uh 60 prospects a day right and thinking that some agencies reach out to a thousand prospects a day right in my agency we reach out to 200 prospects a day so imagine me personally reaching out to 200 people and having to do a loom like personally having to do a loom 200 times in one day i, I don't know the minutes like i never even bothered calculating the minutes of that because i know that that's just the wrong way to do it because fact of the matter is that these people haven't even qualified themselves right so the reason why we only do it in the third or fourth email that we send to them is because we want to see whether or not they qualify themselves and if the person opens the email four five six etc amount of times right then they're showing you that they're interested in what you're doing they just need that little push to get them to set that meeting and having a loom video is the exact way to do that 
right? So why a person would open an email four times or five times, I honestly don't know. I think the main reason why they'd want to do that is just they're they're hesitant on booking a call, right? They're fighting with themselves personally that should I book it or should I not book it? Like, is this actually going to solve my problems or is this just another one of those those things where they promise you the world and they don't even come anywhere close to delivering the world, let alone a country, <laughs> right? So that's why we only use Loom to people who qualify themselves, right? And an example, Loom, I can't believe I'm doing this, but so I will do a Loom example, which will basically guide you through the sort of structure your Loom video should have, right? And I'll do it exactly the way I do it normally, right? I actually don't mind at all. But before I go ahead and show you uh, this Loom, all I ask you to do is go ahead and click that red button right there and subscribe, join the family, or flip your phone vertically and turn that red icon gray, right? And also comment down something in the description below while you're at it right if you're going to do one thing you might as well do the second order consequence of something right so anyway three two one hey jason bongi here i just wanted to take a quick five minutes and basically explain some some things i, I felt like you could improve in your ads before me and my team even take that first step into working with you right and the first thing i noticed that you can fix is that i noticed you're only running three facebook ads and that is honestly a concern to me because there is an extortionately high amount of skincare product brands out there and a large majority of them are only advertising on places such as tv and banners or even advertising on other stores right like purchasing purchasing like a aisle in that store where that where that store can like place their their banner i think it's called a banner that where they can place their banner and the funny thing about that is that the large majority 85 percent of females who go ahead and purchase uh, skincare products are actually pur purchasing them either on Facebook or on Instagram. And the great thing about this for you is that Facebook and Instagram is both owned by one company, which is Facebook. So honestly, I feel like if you want to just take more of the pie from the market, all you have to do is increase this number alone, right? Because I have a competitor, one of your competitors right here uh a giant in your niche is running 150 facebook ads and honestly we can gladly say that if you want to get to the level where kylie skin has been able to get to in only a couple of months or actually it's i think yeah a couple of months uh, a handful of months actually is the only way she was able to do that is through an extortionately high amount of ads that she was running, right? She wouldn't be able to get to the point where she is if she was only running three Facebook ads, right? So that's the first thing that you can do to go ahead and take that first step into ensuring that your business is getting as much of the market pie that it can get, right? And the next thing is that your ad copies, right? I don't know if you're the one who does your own ads or if it's your media buyer who does your ads for you, but your ad copy is, is quite short, honestly. And I've noticed one thing through my experience, which is that long form ad copy performs way more better than short form copy. And honestly, like your partner right here has experimented with short form and long form copy and another thing i noticed while scrolling through her ad library is that she not only plays with short form copy but she also plays with long form copy as you can see right here and if i had to look properly i could tell you the difference between front end offers and back end offers 
or retargeting offers right so most likely ads such as these are only used for retargeting and back-end offers as these people already know who kylie jenner is and who or what kylie skin is right which is why it's only like two lines of copy and just a picture of a product right while where we scroll down we notice that this sort of this sort of um ad right here has long form copy well not really long form i'd say semi semi medium form copy as well as the product right here right and if you take a look you're noticing that not only are they showing pictures of the product but they're also showing pictures of what the actual product uh is like when it's being used right or just like videos right they're just playing around with videos with images with product images with uh a person actually using the product while when i take a look at you here you're actually using videos that have actually been edited right and the thing about edited videos is that they look like ads and nobody really wants to watch ads right they just scroll past these so these two which are exactly the same thing are actually not performing that well honestly but i wouldn't really know about the metrics because while well, only you and your media buyer would know about the metrics right so when i take a look at this video this is honestly one that i really enjoy and i'll explain to you why that is the reason why i honestly love this sort of video other than these two which have been edited and the only difference between these two as i was saying is the ad copy right the only difference between these two is that this ad copy started a white a wait list and this one starts with fine line scars or hyper german citation <laughs> i didn't practice before starting this video but honestly the great thing about this video is that it's a it's a client testimony right or a customer testimony where your customer is actually showing your audience how to use the product and it's also explaining to the audience uh how the product actually benefited her right and Another great thing about this uh, video right here is that it's unedited, right? It's actually raw footage just shot with a plain old iPhone or Android phone, right? Because you can tell here that the lighting isn't so good and it's not really edited. While when looking at here, you can tell that this was shot with a high quality camera in a studio, right? And the only way I'd perform, I'd fix this uh ad right here is just to make the ad copy a bit longer right you could take what she's saying in the video and turn it into words but like you see the benefits that she talks about in this video because i heard uh somewhere here in 30 seconds in she starts talking about the benefits of the product you can take what she says and put it into the ad copy and just say that all your customers are saying this about you and that the person should also check it out and see if what they're saying and all the benefits that are received from your product are possible with them right that's just an example of an ad copy you can run you could send this video to your media buyer i honestly wouldn't have a problem with it right as long as you're actually able to improve your ads and actually get the most out of this meeting right here so I actually have a, a link to my scheduler where we can actually have that quick 30 minute meeting where I just provide you as much value as I possibly can and see how we can actually move your brand forward into a place where you actually want it to be at in the next 12 months or even eight months because we're normally averaging reaching our clients goals within eight months instead of 12 months right and honestly the only way this person would be running this many ads is if they were seeing an incredibly high ROI. And the thing about running ads with high ROI is that, well, the more they grow, the more you have, like the more money you have to throw into them, which means probably a month from now, this would have jumped from 150 ads to 250 ads right because ads are more focused on geometric growth other than normal 
linear growth. So honestly, I want to generate the same results for your personal brand so that you can go ahead and get a larger piece of the market share and keep on getting that automatic growth, right? And automatic revenue. Because honestly, I can't even think of a better way of getting I can't think of a better way of getting customers than finding a way to get customers at will, right? Imagine you woke up, had a meeting with your team, and your team told you that, look, Jason, if we can't get 100 clients, 100 customers within one week, we'll go bankrupt. And you just say, guys, all I have to do is talk to one of my friends and my friend will handle it. And my friend, which is me in this situation, would be able to generate you that 100 plus, maybe even another 50 customers within one week, saving your brand. And not only that, but also getting you out of a place of worry and putting you in a place of abundance where you don't have to worry about marketing and all you have to focus on is product creation and ensuring that you have the best product in the market. So go ahead and click the schedule and schedule this quick meeting. I can't wait to see you there. So I hope you actually took some notes down of that uh, loom, loom uh, example video that I did wrote down a couple notes or even just downloaded the video for later use offline but some things to note is that you should subscribe and comment something down below right <laughs> and another thing is that this loom strategy is useless and ineffective at scale you might send 1000 emails a day but only five to six looms a day which is totally fine and that, that on its own is totally okay with me. But once you're sending over 20 looms, little, and what, once you're sending like 10 looms a day, like anywhere from 10 and upwards, you need to start looking at how qualified the people you're sending, the, sending these looms to are, right? Because that's a lot of time you're taking from your day to just send loom videos to people who might not really even book a meeting let alone be qualified or even afford you for that matter of fact right but anyway that's today's video go ahead and hit the subscribe button take that first step into elevating your business and agency go ahead and click this video right here which i personally selected for you so i see you guys in a minute Thank you, dear.